Andiamo? Allora. I think I probably started as a child. I think everybody is an artist as a child, but then we grow up. But I just never grew up. I started to play with my food, I started to make unconventional artworks, and then eventually it became something that I never expected it to be. I started uploading videos onto YouTube of me making artwork, and they started to get thousands and thousands of views. And then interest came from television, interest came from celebrities, famous people, and it's been a whole 10 years now of me working professionally as an artist. I think the first piece of unusual art that I made was a portrait of the TV judge Simon Cowell from America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent. And it was a portrait actually using Marmite on toast because in the UK, Marmite, which is a breakfast bread, it says you love it or you hate it. So people say the same about Simon Cowell, love him or hate him. So I decided to make the portrait of Simon Cowell using Marmite on toast. That had such an amazing reaction on social media that I started to make artwork using all different kinds of materials. I think I choose my subjects by things that are happening in the world, things that are current, uh, news stories. So it could be politics, it could be the passing of a celebrity, it could be anything that's happening in the world currently. And quite often, they're people that I like myself as well. Um, whether it's I respect their artistry or I respect um, who they are as a person. So I create artwork based on things that happen in the world. My target, my goal in the future is just to hopefully keep making a living making art. I like to inspire people to use unconventional materials, everyday items, and unique ways of making art to make it accessible to everyone. I don't always like that art can be quite scary for people, an art gallery could be frightening. So I try to allow people to have access to art, no matter if they have money or not, no matter if they can travel or not, you can make art with anything in your own home. Yeah, I think I've taken influence over the years from other pop culture artists, Andy Warhol being my favourite, I've got him tattooed on my arm, and I love what he did um, when, he, when he was alive with the pop culture and the celebrities of his time, so that's kind of what I do now, but um, current living artists, I, I admire a lot of artists like Banksy, Damien Hirst, um, Jeff Koons, the American artist as well, I just think he's great. But um, it's kind of that I take my influence from pop culture rather than the art world itself. I would just like, I think, I'd like to think that in the future everybody was making art. I think it should be fun, I think it should be accessible. And I think it's good to start a conversation. Sometimes people can't say the words they want to say, but they can say it through art. And I think that's quite a powerful thing. I think, um, I mean, I make art everywhere. So I can make art in a gallery, I can make art in the street, I can make art in a nightclub if I have to. And I think as long as the message is there, the reason why I'm doing art in that specific location, like why I'm here in Rome and I'm creating art all about famous Italians and Italian things, um, it's been quite a great experience. So I like that I can make art anywhere. My teacher is, I don't, I don't really know, I don't think anybody really influenced me that much. Um, my father actually really encouraged me as a child to practice and practice and practice how to draw. And the basics of everything I do, no matter how big or how unusual materials, it's all down to drawing. 
So I've, I've got to thank my father for that, but my teachers in school were good, but Andy Warhol is my, is my idol. Thank you. Grazie.